tomorrow 12th and i want us to look that much that you have tomorrow about gormaya and uh, zoya salim gormaya uh, with Dennis Olich, uh, they say if, if you have been lucky enough to watch him play, you have to count yourself very, very blessed. And I think for some of us who were uh, at K uh, Kasarani the other day, we saw what the man can do, the quality in the man. Most people were saying uh, he's, he's run his race and he's in the wee hours of his career, but if you ever watched him play on that day, I think he's as good as they get. So for me, I think Kogalo now are a different beast with with Dennis Olej donning that number 14 jersey, I think they are going to be a force to reckon with as the same way they've been season in, season out. But then again, mm -hmm. we say it's, it's, it's the quality also generally in the Kogalo side that is, is causing a lot of teams trouble. And I think Nzoya, they know they have their work cut out because it's a very young side. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you're not careful, the way Posta were wa not the other day, I think Dennis Olej will just rip you apart because now he's the main he's the main man in that Kogalo team. If everyone is not performing, mm -hmm. you bet your last dollar on it. He will come up with goods. No, uh, I want to come to you, Ian. Uh, what do you think Gormaya should do that they win this match? Uh, I guess Gormaya, they're actually playing on Sunday against uh, New Star de Douala in the CAF, CAF Confederations Cup. And uh, it's actually... They actually they actually handicapped because two of their very def dependable players are, are suspended. Uh, Haron Chakava won't be there. Uh, Josh Onyango won't, won't also be there. But uh, the incoming of Dennis Olets. Yes, they actually <laughs> misbehaved <laughs> back in Nigeria, <laughs> which is which isn't justifiable as much as uh, they were they they were carrying a lead and and they were they, they were they were dethroned. But uh, the incoming of uh, I was actually one of the few guys who were criticizing uh, Dennis Olets. <laughs> signing at right. Gormahia. Mm -hmm. But watching their match against Posta Rangers, I can assure you that he's a gem and he's worth he's worth every penny they, uh, they're spending on him. Right. Because Dennis Olietz has the experience. Mm -hmm. He still has the speed as much as he's aging. Mm -hmm. And he has, uh, he, has, he, has, he has an eye for goal. He won't miss a chance in front of goal. So he's actually one, one player they really need at this point. And I, I think he'll be very beneficial to them going into these matches. And especially the Spopesa Premier League because they are trying to defend it. So he'll be an asset for Gormai. All right. Mm. Uh, Rogers, what do you think Nzoya should have in their boots to, to make sure they win against Gormai? Uh, well, uh, my first point on Dennis Oliech, uh, I believe uh, as normal, when you are good, you are good. Right. Yeah, though at times you might be off peak, but when you are good, you are good. When it is, uh, when you got the talent, it sticks. And uh, Maki only took a break. He never said that he has left football right. or retired officially. He only had some issues, I think, pertaining uh, the uh, the mother, of which unfortunately the mother passed away. But he was able to he was able to to, to, to recover and. Um, I believe going by Wednesday, uh, Wednesday's match, uh, if, uh, from those who are there can bear me witness, you could see the kind of work and the, the, the leadership quality in him, the anger, the speed, the everything. So I believe uh, in one month's time with good preparation, when he hits the, he, he, he hits the gym running, I believe will be all that fit and uh, will cause uh, a lot of havoc. Uh, on part of um, Nzoia, uh, Pretty difficult. Pretty difficult. What chance I make to moja ko your name ya olech to kitoka. So ni mi ona olech ame rudi gor. Na uno juwa pia mama kia liko na taka chesi at least gor. So no na na me funga ba moja. Sasa kuna peji flani tu na kuaga sita se ma apa. Ni se ma ana taka ti pia ti tas mula ma. Na 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 bon fi sambani. Warudi ndo. Sasa wa macha ti olech. Nacha ni kuambia kuna msemo ya ya English inasemaga class is permanent but form is temporary ndio mm -hmm. Oliechend kumbuka ile kitu amefanya kwa inchi Jamata naona watu wengine wa deserve wakipatiwa HSC head of state commendation Oliech by the way anafaa kuwa hapo Si ndio ama ni aje wale watu waje kuwa kiona Oliech mm -hmm. wanajiuliza huyu jamaa amekuja kufanya nini lakini let me tell you mm -hmm. Kuna mtu wali miambia, hey, kwa ni Oliech amecheza utakia 15, lakini shati amesuwe tukulikuwa na mtu amecheza game yote. <laughs> lakini, <laughs> angale space. 
Gore na Rujic. Tunakuja. Mtakuwa. <laughs> anyway, you expect him to <laughs> support <laughs> fully. <laughs> right. Point. Yes. Uh, when you look at my uh, squad last season, mm -hmm. uh, with the kind uh, with the kind of the head coach they had in Dallas, and uh, when you look at the squad currently, uh, there's one thing that I have, a, I have an issue with Gormai. You, you you can't be losing your best players and you br you bring in average players. Sorry for saying that, but for a club like Gormai here, you should be able to go for the best, right? And I believe there's some inner house issues that are not right. So I believe we, once they're able to sort out those issues, then let us expect the the, uh, the, the good form of Gogmaia that we saw last season. But uh, otherwise, without that, uh, this season, they'll, a bit, uh, they'll be a bit shaky. Uh, they'll be on on and off. Yeah, but I think uh, the coming of Dennis Oliet at least will bring some, some moral booster to the team. Yes. All right. I want to move to another team, uh, Sunny Sugar versus Ulinzi. Ian, which team do you support, by the way, here? I, I usually don't have preference, <laughs> but, yeah. I, Even but EFC. I, I, I closely follow. <laughs> <laughs> I closely follow AFC and Western team. Closely. I, 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 I have an affiliation to. Mm. Okay. All right. <laughs> now, what do you think about the match between uh, Sunny Sugar and Ulinzi? Stan? Ulinzi are, are usually mm. lukewarm. They are usually very lukewarm, and I don't know why, because they have the facilities, they have quality players, they have uh, consistent funding. Uh, Sony Sugar coming up well. One of them is here. Uh, he'll really box me if I talk bad about them. But one thing about them, when they are at home, uh, they are usually a hard nut to crack, uh, especially when they are at home. They don't concede easily, so uh, I don't expect as many goals in that match. But Ulinzi being lukewarm, I don't see them posing much threat yes all right i'll come to you salim with uh, this match tasker fc versus